Okay, so we are going to data bend images in Audacity today. Now, there's tons of tutorials about this on YouTube, but I feel like none of them really explain it well. And I'm the best tutorial maker in the fucking galaxy. So I'm just going to go ahead and make one. Um, so here's what you got to do. You, uh, first of all, I like to have an image file. That's usually what you need to uh, data bend images, an image file itself. And I usually like to p take that image file and put it in a separate folder. <coughs> and I'll show you why I do this afterwards. Um, after basically what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it and open with paint. Uh, now if this isn't in, in, is, is, sorry, if this isn't in the drop down menu by default, uh, you can literally just launch paint from the start menu and open it there. So here we have, uh, a picture of Eric Andre, uh, smashing a plaster statue, which I've named Eric Pinus. Um, so basically there's not, you know, unless you want to edit the image now, all you got to do is just, uh, this menu won't show. Uh, all you gotta do is uh, click on fi the file menu there and click on save, and then you're gonna go to uh, sorry save as rather because it'll save it as a PNG if you just click save. Um, uh, so yeah, save as after you're gonna change whatever is whatever file type is over here. If it's not bitmap, 24-bit bitmap, you're gonna go ahead and click on it, click on the drop down menu and go to 24-bit bitmap. That's the one that you're gonna use in order to uh, properly data bend the images. Um, now I've already made the image here, uh, the, the bitmap image here, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, recreate it just for the purpose of this video. And I also like to differ be able to differentiate um, which file is bitmap and which file isn't. I believe there's a way to show the file extensions, but uh, I just feel like it gets a little bit too cluttered afterwards uh, in terms of text. So I uh, usually just put an exclamation mark at the beginning of it. Okay, so uh, it's just asking me if I want to overwrite it here. That's right. And there you go, I have exclamation mark Eric Pinus dot BMP. I'm just going to close MS Paint for now. Oops, clicked on help. Uh, after you're going to have Audacity open. Now, Audacity is a free audio editing program. I guess I'll put the link in the description, even though, you know, Google is not a thing that works. Uh, but regardless, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Import, and then you're going to click on Raw Data. Uh, and in that sense, said I put the exclamation mark to uh, differentiate which one was a bitmap and when, which one was a PNG. This one's a PNG and this one's a bitmap, as per the uh, exclamation mark would indicate. So you're just going to double click on it. Uh, now, let me sort of see if I can zoom in on these settings. Right. So these settings are always going to be different. These first two, at least, are always going to be different whenever you import an image into Audacity. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to change this, regardless of what it is, you're going to change this to ULaw, and you're going to change uh, the byte order uh, to Big Endian. So as I said, you're going to change the encoding to ULaw, and the byte order to Big Endian. Now sometimes they're a little bit ambiguous, like other tutorials are a little bit ambiguous, they don't really describe everything well, they expect you to look at the screen, uh, but the fucking thing is, they never show the screen like full resolution, or they like their their videos are in 480p, so you can never fucking tell what's going on on the screen. But regardless, that's what you have to do it as. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, so yeah, you can see you have your image file here uh, converted into raw d d audio data. Now, one of the things that the other videos do do explain is that you have to keep the header of the file intact. Uh, and uh, basically, what the header is, you know, just whatever the image needs to define itself as, uh, sorry, the file needs to, f to define itself as an image, I guess. Um, so you're going to want to keep that intact. Usually you can visually tell where the header begins and ends. I mean, to me, it's probably going to be somewhere around here, uh, up until like maybe the two and a half second mark. So just for the sake of safety, I'm going to go to the two and three quarter second mark. And I'm gonna go up until there. Now, some people have told me that I'm supposed to keep the ending intact, but uh, I've been able to mess with it sometimes and get some pretty weird things to happen. So I don't know if messing with the ending of the audio uh, is really a constant thing or um, or just something that people do as a safe kind of thing, or because uh, some images uh, might be uh, corrupted after you uh, uh, change the ending of the audio file. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some filters. First, I'm gonna add an echo with a yeah, 0 0.5 delay. Um, you can see it sort of goes like really fucked up afterwards, so I'm probably going to get some good distortion here. Now, the only thing that I've noticed that consistently uh, corrupts an image is changing the pitch. Changing the pitch, for whatever, for whatever reason, I can never get it to actually work properly uh, or like affect the image in a way that won't fuck it up.
So just be careful with that. But regardless, you know, uh, really, other than that, I don't think there's really many rules. I, and who knows? You can change the picture. You can probably change the picture on some other images, and it'll work just fine. Uh, it's really about experimentation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to invert, uh, and I'm just going to do leveler. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, let's go to heaviest leveling threshold for noise. Okay, so there you go. So that's you know that should be able to do something. You can tell in the audio in the audio file that's a lot different. Oh, sorry, in the audio waveform, it's a lot different than what it was before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to file, and we are going to go to export. Now there, uh, in, there used to be an option in Audacity that said export as raw, but they've changed it a bit. So you're gonna go to export, and then uh, for me it'll just show as uh, other uncompressed files, but for you it might show as like WAV or MP3 or whatever thing like that. But yeah, you're just gonna want to click on this drop down menu and change it to uh, other uncompressed files. I don't know if I can say it any more clearly. Other uncompressed files. Um, and after that, you're going to click on Options. Now, let me see if I can zoom in on this again. So, what you're going to make sure you have these settings on is uh, you're going to have to make it a the header option for raw header list. I don't believe there's any other option for raw. Um, you're going to have the encoding be ULaw. Now, I have I think I have seen people like use a law. Uh, to originally import the image, but you're going to want to keep this the same as whatever you imported the image is. It, sorry, whatever you imported the image in, whatever encoding rule, I guess. Um, but yeah, for this uh, video, just, I, I would suggest using ULaw. I mean, I never never mess with ALaw, and ULaw looks to, seems to do some pretty satisfying stuff, so just keep it the way it is, I guess. Or not, you know, as I said, it's all about experimenting. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Um, so what else? The other thing that you have to do is you have to make sure that when you save the file, you save it as the original file type. Now, if we just press enter, it'll save it as a .raw file. But then we don't want that. What we want is to save it as a openable image file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as a uh, copy of it. So I'm just going to be ericpinus2.bmp. And basically, if you get this error message, you know, yeah, that means you're doing something right. Basically, this error message says, uh, normally the files that are exported with, uh, that are imported in raw data uh, into Audacity are exported as .raw files. Um, <coughs> it's basically asking if you want to save it, really save it under the .bmp name, which you do, again, because you want to have it as an openable image file. Uh, so then you're gonna, just going to click yes. And this is the metadata. Usually, this would be associated with music tracks, you know, artist data, track, yeah, with all that kind of stuff. Uh, so um, you're just gonna click OK. That stuff doesn't really matter. And then you can see, uh, you might be able to see in the thumbnail, it did some pretty weird stuff to it right now. So you can see when I did the echo on him, uh, it, you know, it created sort of a shadowing effect, but it also messed with the colors. Um, so that's really cool, actually, the way the way it sort of worked out. Normally, whenever I have the echoing effect, it usually repeats it, but if it's on, like, a black background, like this sort of was, it doesn't really mess with the colors too much, but I guess this time it did. Um, and that's the thing, you're really going to get, like, different results every time. Uh, <clears throat> once you do it for a while, you might notice, like, sort of trends and what happens uh, with certain effects. But it's really about experimentation, you know, you can never predict it uh, 100%, you know how an effect will interact with an image. But there you go. Um, there was our data image in Audacity. Actually, let me see if I can e explore a little bit more into the audio file here. So I can go all the way there <coughs> without destroying the file. Uh, let's just do whatever. I'm not even, yeah, usually I just, I don't even like add certain effect, like effects unless I, like the only one I really add that I, when I'm trying to achieve a certain look is uh, the Wawa, which that's, you know, really extreme, but right now, but let's just leave it at that. Um, so, and I'm also going to save this as Eric Pinus 3, because I want to, or sorry, yeah, I typed 4, but I meant 3. Uh, I'm going to save it as Eric Pinus 3.bmp, because I want to keep the second image that I have, which is why I put it into my own folder. Sometimes I'll get up to, like, 20 different files of experimentation, because I like the way it looks, and I want to, you know, keep on creating uh, more stuff on top of that. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and click on OK, OK. And, oh, okay, so this is, looks interesting. Um, 
which is actually this is something I've seen before. So the wah wah effect will usually uh, remove a lot of color from the image. Uh, and also give it those like wavy, that wavy sort of effect. Um, now you can see that the image, uh, these areas of the image, are unedited or at least you know you can see a little bit there. Uh, I'll do that just a little bit there. But for the most part, they're unedited. Now the reason for this is because you can't affect the header data. Basically, uh, I think if I was to go with all the, I can go all the way to the end of this actual file and modify the top of it. Um, but yeah, I can't. You can't actually uh, edit the beginning of the image uh, because it will destroy the image and it'll make it unreadable by any program. So what I, w I I haven't tried this yet, but what I would suggest doing is maybe try uh, taking the image and putting it with two hundred around two hundred pixels on each side of it, uh, just so that you know the effective range of the image or like the header of the image will be there. Then you may have some blank space, and then you'll have the effective range of the image which you know, you'll be able to modify everything and uh, mess with. So, as I said, just really experiment with what filters do what uh, and what looks good to you. Um, and I might make another tutorial about hex editing and after, you know, go into Audacity and, and edit a hex edited file. Um, but yeah, there you go. That, that's produced some sort of interesting results. See ya.